Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use the World Time feature on your Casio Pro Trek PRG240 watch. This is a module 3246 watch. You can use this video no matter which version you've got, even if it's not the PRG240. It'll also work if you've got one of the 3173 models. I believe it's 3173, which is basically the exact same model, except it's got an inverted display. So the world time feature, basically Casio gives you 31 different time zones, 48 different cities that you can go view the time for other than your current location. And I'm going to show you how to do that. This watch has several different modes on it. You've got a sunrise, sunset mode. You've got a world time, timer, so on and so forth. To get to those different modes, all you're going to do is press the mode button. Now, if you look on this inner ring in here, on the very inner side, it will tell you all of the different modes that you've got. As we press the mode button, you should see a pointer that's pointing you to which mode you're on. You'll also see that value displayed very briefly in the top left corner. When we get to world time, we should see a WT displayed instead of what I'm showing here, which is my barometric pressure trend. Let's go ahead and press mode. We're going to press it three times to get to world time. One, two, three. You see the WT it just blinks for a second. And now we are in our world time mode. You can see that the top left is my city code. I'm looking at the world time or the time zone for the city of Denver. The middle value, the larger value, is going to be the time for that city code. The bottom value is going to be your current time. For me, it's 11.30. In Denver, it is 9.30. The blinking pointer at the bottom is going to be my current time, 11.30, but it's pointing to the 24-hour format. So if I wanted to view my time in 24-hour format, I can use this outer ring on the crystal of the watch case, or the watch uh, dial. You'll notice that there's a 10 and 11 here. It's, nine, it's a 1130, so it's pointing directly in between those two. If we look, there's also a pointer that is not blinking. That is my uh, world time value in 24 hour format. For Denver, it's 931, so it's pointing to 931 on the 24 hour value format. Pretty simple stuff. There's not a whole lot else to it. If you want to move to a different city code, pressing the compass button will progress you to the west. Using the altimeter button will move you to the east. You can basically land on whatever value you want and you can leave it there. Now, the only other thing to know is, for example, I'm looking at LAX. Well, my current time is 1131. I'm in the central time zone. LA should be two hours behind me, but it's showing 832. The reason it's showing that is if we go back to my main timekeeping mode, you'll notice that I'm in DST. We're in daylight savings time right now, so my time is accurate, but my world time is off because LAX is not set up for DST, and I'm going to show you how we can do that. Let's go back to the world time mode. You'll notice when we go back into it, it will remember the last setting you had. So it's still showing LAX because that was the city code that I was displaying. If you want to switch it to DST, all you have to do is while you're in the world time mode, you're going to press and hold the adjust button. It's the bottom left middle button. Press and hold it. And now you'll see the DST indicator for your world time mode. And now we're accurate. It's 1132 AM. In central time zone for me, it's 9.32 a.m. in LAX, so we are exactly right. You've got to make sure you've got that DST value saved. If you move, let me switch to a different city code. If I go back, it will remember the last setting I had, so LAX is still showing DST. Once you've got your world time zone uh, set, you can pretty much just go to that mode anytime you want to view that world time. You can simply press the mode button and go back to your main timekeeping mode when you're done looking at it. Unfortunately, there is not a way to see your world time and your current time in the same watch face on your main display. If you wanted to do that, you would have to go to the world time mode and then just stay in the world time mode. You're gonna miss some values. For example, your date, stuff like that. If I just simply press the adjust button, you'll notice it doesn't adjust like it does on the main timekeeping mode. So this is basically all you'll see, your city code, the time there, and your current time. As always, I hope the video helps. Lisa gives you an idea of how to use the world time feature on your PRG240 watch.